Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear viewers, welcome to Unsung Hero. My name is Ishaquddin, and we have cancer researcher, uh, Shamsul Islam. Shamsul Islam, welcome to our show. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Fantastic. Why did you choose that subject or that disease you want to do research, man? It's a killer disease. It is a killer disease, to be honest, and there are 200 types of cancer, we all know, most of us. And only a few have been researched and uh, there are cure and medication for. So um, it should be priority for every one of us to know about this disease and uh, how we can overcome uh, in our community. Shamsun Islamabai, is there a particular reason why did you choose to do research? Particular reasons or has anyone in your family probably passed away? You know, some people usually if something happens, they move on. Is that the case with you or no, you wanted to do research, you wanted to know? Well, uh, I, I'm not a researcher, I just want to be uh, okay. correct. I, I do work voluntarily and I do my own research in our communities, how we can overcome with this um, uh, disease. So I'm not a scientist or I'm not a doctor. Nearly there. Uh, <laughs> I could be one of them in the future, inshallah. Community work, I mean, uh, charity work, sorry, I beg your pardon. It is uh, actually, it's a fantasy for me. I've been doing that since my early teenage age, school age, college age, where there was a, a little charity work. I've always been involved in it. Towards my um, business life, I always wanted to help the local communities um, where my businesses are, uh, doing fundraising events and so on, helping the local communities. Or well, you are very <laughs> known for your money. People think you're a very rich man. Well, uh, every most of us uh, should help, even though we are rich or we are not rich, we should help uh, the poor or the people with uh, difficulties. This should be a moral duty for us all of course. human beings. And so this is how I uh, became a, a charity worker. I have worked with many other charity organizations, not only Cancer Research UK, and many uh, known charity organizations in the UK and uh, worldwide. So uh, mainly doing uh, fundraising events and helping uh, most other ways. In terms of uh, Cancer Research UK, I, I, I believe that uh, as you know, uh, there are many people are uh, in our communities and in the UK dying with cancer. Um, uh, there are uh, over 900 people uh, diagnosed with cancer every day. And from there, only half of will survive. That's in, only in the UK? Only in the UK. So, uh, particularly sort of the, the, the rumors is rumor is like it's gone high, it's gone getting very fast, and everybody's getting this and that. The rumors like it's going high, high, high. Is that the case, or is it always been like that? Uh, it's always been like that. It's, it's, it's now because I think the the, the knowledge uh, the people are getting, and they're they are in the community with uh, the local uh, NHS and uh, local practice are uh, giving out more information. And uh, by all means, if we can, you know, practice that, if we can uh, believe in that, uh, the, the, the chances are uh, more in the future will reduce uh, the level of cancer in, in, in the UK and worldwide. When you say one in two will uh, so sorry, affect it. Oh, two in, sorry, two in one, not one in two. <laughs> if they get one in two, it gets 50-50. Two in one that affected by cancer. Scary, man. Uh, it is. Uh, it is very much uh, how we live, our li uh, lifestyle, uh, what we eat, and and so, so on. We can uh, we can bring out a lot of things. We we should be not um, having in our meals, and we do have it, and that does affects in our uh, cells in our body. You know, m more often it doesn't do it in one day. It, it does in 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 sort of years uh, time. So uh, in that way, I mean, excess of sugar, excess of uh, smoking, obesity, alcohol, so so many things are sort of uh, related to cancer. Do you find a particular alarming issues with Asians mainly? 
like you get a lot of people are affected in Asia, especially I'm talking about Bangladesh, the Pakistan Indian community are affected by cancer now. Um, is it because of their diet or is it because of the lifestyle? Does it? Well, uh, to my finding over the last uh, 10, 12 years uh, within Cancer Research UK, uh, within our community, uh, sort of uh, South Asian, have increased over 20% which is uh, sad to say, uh, and that's because of uh, the knowledge, uh, that's because of the lifestyle we have in the UK. When you, say, when you say lifestyle, what does it mean? Lifestyle could be the, the, the food we are taking, as I said, uh, the, the, uh, the habits of smoking and uh, we, our olders are uh, sort of used to have pan and supari and this, this, this is part of uh, really? The research, yes. Uh, you, if you could explain Panshufari. Panshufari in, in, in explain that if you don't mind. Because the, the, there are that, a lot of people, 99% are probably, uh, mm, probably having Pan and Shufari. Yeah, that is and uh, what's uh, uh, mouth cancer, uh, ulcer cancer and all sort of things has from uh, Pan Shufari. Okay, so if you say um, Shufari, does it, is it a part of the problem? It is particularly particularly the betel nut and the, the, the other white stuff we have it and the we have a soon soon and the, 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 the tobacco we have it zorda the zorda and the other stuff we have it there are a lot of chemicals in it there are a lot Definitely. of chemicals in it I, I mean uh, it's sad to say I mean we use we eat a lot of uh, foreign food and we don't see the labels the chemicals are in there coming from other countries of the world. And there are a lot of sad things in it. Is it only mouth cancer from uh, Pan and Shupari, or is it any other 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 disease comes? Uh, no, mouth cancer. Mainly mouth Mainly cancer. Mouth cancers. How many people do you think are affected? Quite a lot. I can't number it out, but, but there, there are quite quite a lot. I mean, in in our community. Have you met anyone yourself? Yes, I have. I have met a few, and sadly, the chances are very low because. Please, can you, please tell us about that person, uh, one person particularly. Well, I, I met uh, one elderly person, a female, and she, she, even though she had that uh, disease... In she, UK? In the UK, okay. she had the disease and she, she could not, her family could not stop her having taken that, the, the addiction she had on it. She would say, I would die without not having that. So the family chose I mean, the, the, the medical the doctors have said she, she should not have it. But then the chances are became so offset to her. So the family decided that she should have it. That's, that's what's her um, wishes. wishes. But reducing that, I mean, our, our campaign is not 100% you can't uh, have, tell somebody that you can't have it. But reducing one day everything, uh, even tobacco, even uh, pansuvari, even other uh, um, uh, bad habit, our campaign is to reduce it. That's where you can, until you reduce in numbers, in one day you could stop it. And if somebody does stop it, instantly something that does affect their life. So I'm assuming when you go to Kutumbari, when, when they're having punch party, I'm sure it affects you straight away. Oh no, oh no, it's going to affect yes. that person. Yes. When you have a chat with them, because this is our issue, especially this is a Bangladeshi issue actually. Punch party is a Bangladeshi issue mainly, isn't it? Mm. So, not only Bangladeshi in our uh, Asian people, but Asian mainly Asian I'm saying South people Asian, will be. South Asian, there are a lot of okay. Indian people do. I've okay. met a few families like that. I've made a few stories in Indian communities as well, South Indian, and uh, there are. Quite a lot. Not only us. Not only okay. Blame, we not only blame him, but okay. the communities. Okay. There are others as well. I'm, I'm quite naive in that field. So, <laughs> yes. So how do we, honestly, how do we, like my mom, she's, it's another, addi it's an addiction. It is. It is an addiction. It, it, it came is. from, you know, older generation from back home and how they lived. This, this was like a pleasure kind of thing, how they had it. And uh, it, it is, in a way, if you can... Uh, I, I believe that uh, the, the, the more the effective things are the chemical are mixed in it. That's the effective thing. Have you ever spoken to any uh, big big scholars and saying, look, this is got this is got that is affecting, is making this kind of issues? 
Have you ever met, just for, for the, mm, your no. satisfaction, no, have, you yes. haven't? I think we should now, because if you know this can be a cancer, we need to, we need to make it I, into a lab. I think a lot of people, form. I think, I think from my knowledge, a lot of people are know that. And this is something that we turn away. We know that and we turn away. A lot of people uh, do smoke and the, he or she, he knows yeah. that this is going to affect their life. And they just turn away in blind eyes. So unless they're, they're in that suffer mode, you know, they're, they're just turning away. And we, as you said, we need to build a communication in the community that uh, gives them more chance to know that. Okay, because, because it's the lifestyle involved in it and the food. So in your, in your research, um, have you noticed what kind of food will have an effect or what kind of food will save us? Do you, ha do you have any? I mean, top of your mind, I know, I'm yes, sure. Yes, it's, it's, it's clearly, I mean, uh, the food we, we have, like, uh, buy food from uh, the, the local uh, fish and chief shops. We know what sort of, uh, I mean, materials they use, a lot of, lot of places are using unhealthy um, products. And it does affect in our children, even in school, not only with the cancer, in other obesity life, if you if you see you see that the schools are mainly asking to have healthy food, healthy diet, and that is part of uh, the Cancer Research UK to promote healthy food, healthy diet in in the community. Particular danger food, one or two names, particularly very dangerous for our health, especially uh, cancer. Uh, oil. Oily food. Oily food. <laughs> Samosa, definitely. Mm. So <laughs> <laughs> there are many, many kind okay. of foods. I can't. What's the, what's the I, other ca one? I can't. How I about can't spicy achieve. food? Uh, spicy foods even are better. Uh, okay. Because it clears your digestive system. It does. You know. It depends how a lot of people. Not to have a lot of uh, spicy in terms of spicy. No, some some, some, some will like you now. You no, said no, spicy no. food spicy is good, food man. Spicy food does give a lot of. Uh, Good lot stuff. Of good, good in. It probably kills the germs as yeah, well. Yeah, even turmeric, the uh, findings that turmeric healthy, it does give, uh, there are, uh, kills a lot of bacteria in your body to prevent cancer. Actually, haldi, is there any particular way to have haldi? So some people do have uh, the milk and they put haldi in it and they make it warm and they have it. Do you know any particular way? Well, I can't. I, you don't know. I, I can't suggest on that. Okay, but, but you know, I do, I do see people. What do I would that. advise that. A turmeric or haldi is a better product of food to have. Okay. If, 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 in, in many research that was found, it's good to have it in our balance in our diet. That's great. Okay, sir. Um, so we, some of the food we don't ha shouldn't have them. Now, what what should we have more to help us away from take us away from the cancer? A lot of salad, a lot of uh, boil food, boil food, um, rice. Uh, everything how you prepare, I think. How, how particular you rice, particular rice. A boiled rice, uh, white. Uh, oh, sorry, a steamed uh, brown rice. Sorry, beg your pardon. Brown rice is, is better for all kind of disease, even diabetic. Uh, a lot of the sisters say it's, uh, to have brown rice, basmati brown rice. Basmati brown rice. Brown okay. Rice. Have you done any research on you know diabetes? Because this is something. It's just like everybody, almost everybody is getting this, this kind the, of stuff. The, yes, the thing is, uh, diabetic is a disease, a cure are found. So many people okay. are surviving with diabetes. Okay. But cancer, when, when, when this happens in early age, early stage, that's why we are, our campaign is there to, if there is a, a little change in your lifestyle, uh, life you think there is an effective, do visit your GP and share your experience that you're having difficulties in your, in, in, in your system of life. The most earliest you'll have and the most effective you can have uh, the prevention uh, to... Uh Something you mentioned earlier on, I think in our communities when we have this kind of diseases, we don't want to talk about it, we want to keep it silent. Let's not tell anyone. Um, this is probably a culture thing. People are probably... So if my... Kutum has a, let's not talk about it, once he goes to their limit of, or dates, then we say, oh, do you know he's got a date now? He's an, da, 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 da. So he, it's, it's quite late when we, everybody knows it. 
So do you find this a, a particular problem? Do you find it a problem? It is a big problem, to be honest. Big Killer, problem. Ki it is a big problem. Okay. Any disease, any kind of illness, a person suffers himself or herself inside, it makes the disease worse. Silent is a killer. Mm. He can't talk any, to nobody. Just... Any silent is a killer. So we, we suggest uh, to engage in the family, engage with other people uh, with cancer. There are many uh, in communities, there are many uh, programs with cancers, uh, the people with cancer, they go and share. So if, if a brother or sister in our community has cancer, if he or she goes to a program, they can get knowledge that what other things they have available. So we, we, knew, you talk, we talked about food actually. So yourself, if I, if for example, when you go home, what kind of direction do you give at home? Well, I'm coming, I'm going to have this, this, this. And do you, did you have to change your style after you became a researcher or you came to know this is affecting me? Well, I've, I've... Tell me about your <laughs> no, no. kitchen. Tell in, me about your kitchen. What has yes, happened? <laughs> in terms of food, I've, I've started my business with the food industry. <laughs> so I, 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 I intend to know more about food. Okay. So I, I, this is my first... This is my business in the food catering business. So I, I know a lot about food. And uh, obviously I advise everybody to have balance in their diet, good food. Obviously, uh, there are times you, you need to go to a party or you need to go to an You've got event. no choice sometimes. You, you, you can have it. It's not that you, you are restricted in that diet and you can't go to it. We advise that a limitation. Everything has a limitation. If you can limit on even food, everything in your lifestyle, from flu to sleeping to smoking to alcohol, whoever, that, that could affect uh, chances and more. Why did you um, voluntarily choose to work for cancer research, not even paid anything? Um, has anyone pushed you to do this or just by yourself you want to do that? To be honest, uh, no, no one has actually pressured me to work uh, for Cancer Research UK. It's a passion that I have. I have, as I said, I've worked with many charity organizations in the UK and world ways. And uh, this is a, a disease cancer that killing many lives. And if I can work and advise from my knowledge, can somebody have a little help? I think I would be appreciated. Uh, what have you myself. achieved in the last 10 years? It's a long time, 10 years, it's, it's a long time, man. So what have you achieved? Um, have you achieved it as you wished? Or, of course, it's not easy to achieve it, but how much you In terms of my life or in terms of... In terms of your helping others? Yes, uh, many, many, many ways. Uh, we, ha we have many uh, projects uh, going, uh, happening in Bangladesh. Even in here, uh, in the last year, we have launched a Cancer Research UK East London group, where uh, a lot of uh, programs will be happening, cancer in the community, li people living in cancer, youth cancer in, in sort of uh, South Asian and BME communities. So th this is my next uh, plan to how we can combat this disease in our community, how we can target this disease to lower in our uh, community. When you say Bangladesh, you want to campaign, how do you do it in Bangladesh? Well, uh, Any we, example? Cancer is, within Cancer Research UK, we, we have a worldwide, uh, you know, awareness programs. So, if government in Bangladesh, we can uh, approach them, then there are these sort of uh, awareness programs we can help, we can promote, we can, we can bring uh, the health advisor from Bangladesh and train them in, in our uh, practice and uh, send them over with, with, with the knowledge they can be benefited. So are you saying some people can come from Bangladesh here and train here? Yes. And go back and do it? Yes, yes. That's cool. we, have, uh, we have more than 4,000 uh, employees in Cancer Research UK. There are uh, re volunteer researchers, there are uh, doctors, nurses and uh, scientists uh, worldwide wow. are working. And uh, recently, last year, we have um, launched a Cancer Research UK Creek Centre 
in uh, King's Cross. And there are over a uh, thousand doctors and nurses will be working the world from wild wise uh, day and night to find uh, the cure for the disease. So we are working hard, the government are helping uh, to work hard because this is something, an agenda that needs to be looked into. What is the difficult part in that field? What's the most difficult situations you can come across and um, then success would be interesting to know? The difficult uh, thing is finding the cure. There are 200 types of cancer and only as we know, only some of them been found the disease. No, one of the questions yeah. was, uh, how do you combine to others for educational? What was the difficult part telling the, your community regarding cancer? What was the blocking point? People don't want to know, people don't want to hear it, they think it's don't worry about yes, it. Yes, there, there, there are barriers in our communities. Okay. Uh, a lot of scholars has come across on that. When the scholars are um, having a session with, uh, with the, in the community, they find, as you know, they find that uh, our uh, females are not wanting to uh, come to this, past this barrier line uh, to share knowledge uh, with their health advisor, with, with their doctors, a uh, lot of ways. So that's, that's another thing uh, that are affecting. I think it would be very effective if, if, if our imams or scholars, if they could say a few of the stuff in, in khutbahs and other places or, or in their, in their uh, sermons in other places, it would be very interesting because it is a killer disease. Maybe you should, I'm sure you probably have to spoke to them. One of your success stories so far, the best that made you so happy, you probably cried and said, ah, oh, great, I achieved something in 10 years. Well, there... Name one. Yeah, there is a brother, actually, um, a lot of people uh, actually probably know in the community. He came uh, to my knowledge somehow and he has campaigned and uh, he, he fought so much and uh, he had a colon cancer that uh, NHS doesn't give, uh, there is no funding in the NHS for that. So he, he, he started campaigning privately with his friends and family. A lot of media, media helped him. I intend to give him a lot of advice. And he, he, within Cancer Research UK, the, 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 the cure of the disease was there. So the medication was there. Oh. But it, it costed him over 200,000 pounds just for one year. So next year, uh, another lot of 200,000 pounds. And uh, the, his story is successful and he has overcome the fight he had. I mean, the, the, the first time I, I saw him, uh, and when I see him now, he looks much better than me. But so nice. I, I, I would say that uh, the drive you need to have, the barrier you need to break uh, from that. You know, it's amazing to you know, spend time with you, especially knowing a killer disease. And you, the effort you are putting and the commitment, is, it's amazing. We appreciate it. Um, we don't have much time. I want you to say something to our viewers regarding your research and what's your advice for them. Your last saying in that camera, please. Thank you. Well, uh, about cancer, we, we know there are 200 types of cancers and it's affecting in our community a lot. Uh, in my finding, as I said to my... Uh, presenter here, that we, there are more than 20% uh, increasing every other year. So we need to, um, early stage is, is the best uh, for everyone uh, to know, to go to your GP if there is an issue, go to your GP, go to your uh, practice and share your difficulties and the earliest you are uh, diagnosed is the best way you could be treated and um, uh, save yourself. And the next thing uh, I would say to myself, I'm very proud that uh, I have come to this uh, program. Uh, the, the people, people are ICRA TV are uh, very uh, helpful in the community. Uh, they're advising a lot of ways in the community. And I would like to thank everyone here to having me here. Thank you. You know, fantastic. Dear viewers, 
Um, I know it's a sad news. It's increasing. The cancer is increasing and um, anyone can be affected. So just like our brother Shamsul said, we have to know, you have to be very careful. And especially the one of the biggest killer, not biggest killer, one of the killer is like Pan, Shupari, we have to be very careful, you know. Just because our tradition is going on, it doesn't mean you can have anything you want to choose or you don't have it. We need to be careful and we do our best to tell our elders if they're having it, if they addict to it, say, look, this will affect you. Let's find a way to reduce it. Maybe it's not going to uh, um, be easy, but we've got to try, inshallah. If we said anything wrong, please do forgive us. It's just a chat so we all can be, have awareness of the, uh, some education within this. And inshallah, hope to see you next week, inshallah. Make dua for us and we'll make dua for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.